Well, it's great to be back on campus. You know, obviously I spent some really important years of my life here. Getting an honorary degree was something I, you know, I could never have imagined back then, of course, in any way, but it's really a special honor to, to get this from, you know, from my alma mater and, and to have the chance to come back and um, see the school, meet some of the current leadership, um, you know, see the professor that helped me get started in optics. So it was really here where I got interested in science in the first place, um, and primarily through my math classes. And my senior research project was in optics, particularly in optical information processing. A whole lot of changes that have happened uh, to San Diego State since I was here. And of course, they're all to you know, better prepare students um, in, the, in this day and age. And I think it, it's really a trend to be able to provide a lot more hands-on um, activities and projects for students. The ability to bring in people from you know, other subjects and other majors and a place where you can bring them all together and work together collaboratively um, really gets you so much better prepared for what you'll see in the workplace. So not only are they responsible for you know, bringing their own expertise and, and working hard individually, but they understand okay, in, in a team you have to understand how do you work together, bring different systems together to develop a, you know, a pro project and, and make those compromises that are inevitable in those projects. So, so it's exciting to see that students now have that opportunity. I know how important it was for me to see, uh, for example, the first women um, join the astronaut program and the first underrepresented minorities, including the first Hispanic astronaut, who was Franklin Chang Diaz. And when Sally Ride flew, I was in the middle of getting my PhD program at Stanford. And so not only was she doing something that, you know, was amazing, but she had been a physics major like I had. I'm going to graduate school in the fall. I'll be in the electrical engineering department at Stanford University. I really don't know if I could have made the leap to thinking about doing that myself if I hadn't seen somebody like that. So when I know how important it was to me, it's great that I have the opportunity and have had for the, really for the last 30 years of being able to go around and speak at schools and um, you know just do a whole variety of things where I have the opportunity to talk about the importance of education and how that really was the key um, for me and my career.